everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to discuss why a transformer is called a phase shifting device so let us start with the basic transformer here it has two windings the primary and the secondary that is the side to which the source is connected is called the primary winding and the winding to which the load is connected is called the secondary winding so what is phase shifting actually Generally, if a vector quantity is lagging or leading another vector quantity, then those two quantities are said to be phase displaced. That is here, in this case, we are comparing the input quantity and the output quantity in terms of their phase angles. That is, what we are giving is not coming actually in the same way at the output. So, let us see how it is actually happening. Let us consider an ideal transformer. Ideal transformer means resistance is equals to zero. That is, it is purely inductor circuit. That is, impedance, we know that the impedance is equals to R plus Jx. Now, in this case, R is equals to zero. So, Z is equals to only inductive reactance, right? Now, we know that I is equals to V by Z. That is, V by Jx. Now, this J, when it goes to the numerator, it will be giving an angle of minus 90 degrees. That is, I is lagging voltage by 90 degrees. Say, if I am giving a voltage V at the input, say V is equals to Vm cos omega T, then I will be getting a current I equals to Im sin omega T at the input. This current will be lagging the voltage by 90 degrees. So, let us see it in a pictorial way. Say, this is the voltage waveform. This is cosine waveform. Then, the, we will be getting a current in this way. Lagging it by 90 degrees. See here, there is a phase displacement of 90 degrees. This is current. That is, from V to I, there is a phase displacement of 90 degrees. Now, what happens is, now the current flows in this winding. So, what happens is, a flux is produced in the transformer. And its direction is given by right hand thumb rule. And it will be in this direction. Uh, keeping it aside, this flux will be in phase with the current. That is... In phase with the current, if we see the flux waveform, it will be exactly in phase with the current. That is, this is flux waveform. That is, there is a phase displacement of 90 degrees between voltage and flux also. Now, keep it aside. Now, let us discuss about the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. According to the Faraday's laws, EMF can be induced in two ways. That is, the statically induced EMF and dynamically induced EMF. Here, transformer works on, the, on this principle and the motors works on this principle. So, for now, we'll, let us discuss about the statically induced EMF. What do we need for the statically induced EMF is just a varying magnetic field that is with stationary conductor and stationary magnetic field an emf can be induced just by just because of varying magnetic field that is varying with respect to time here this is the major factor that is if the flux is varying with respect to time then an emf can be induced and this emf equation is given by a formula that is, E is directly proportional to rate of change of flux linkages. Rate of change of flux linkages. The magnitude of EMF is given by this formula, whereas the direction is known by Lenz law. It is given in this way. That is, according to the Lenz law, the EMF induced always opposes the cause of its production here in this case the cause of its production is varying this varying nature of the flux that is not the flux actually it is the changing flux so this emf always opposes the change of flux and we know that when two quantities are opposing each other continuously then they are said to be displaced by 90 degrees by 90 degrees let us see how 
say consider two quantities q1 and two q2 now in this first quadrant 0 to 90 degrees what is happening is this q1 is increasing from uh, 0 to its maximum value right this is its maximum value in in the same period this q2 is at its peak value at the beginning whereas it is decreasing to a zero value that is c this q1 is increasing from zero to maximum whereas q2 is decreasing from maximum to zero that is when q1 is increasing q2 is decreasing in the second quarter cycle that is from 90 degrees to 180 degrees q1 is decreasing from its maximum value to zero that is when Q1 is decreasing, the Q2 is increasing from 0 to its maximum value. That is Q2 is increasing. And in the third quarter cycle, 180 to 270, this Q1 is increasing from 0 to maximum value. However, it is increasing whatever may be the direction positive or negative. The magnitude is increasing from 0 to maximum. That is Q1 is increasing and Q2 is decreasing from its maximum value to zero that is q2 is decreasing and in the quart fourth quarter also this q1 is decreasing and q2 is increasing from this we can conclude that when when two quantities are opposing each other then they are said to be 90 degrees or vice versa so in the same case now this emf is always opposing the change of flux so so there will be a phase displacement between phi and emf that is another 90 degrees so the same thing is happening in this case also let us say if this is the flux waveform then this will be the emf waveform that is say if this is the flux waveform this will be the emf waveform now throughout the cycle the emf is opposing the rate of change of flux so that is the flux and emf are continuously displaced by 90 degrees because this emf is opposing the rate of change of flux so from this we can conclude that emf is displaced by flux by 90 degrees now coming back to the first thing here voltage is uh, cu here current is displaced by voltage by 90 degrees similarly flux is displaced by voltage by 90 degrees now this emf is displaced by phi by 90 degrees that is totally there is a displacement of 180 degrees from e to v that used, is, this e is the induced emf in the primary winding due to the self induction property now there is another case called mutual induction property that is mutually induced emf that is E2. You will be induced in the secondary winding due to the flow of current in the primary winding. That is the EMF is first in the first case the EMF will be induced in the primary winding due to the current flow in the primary winding. And in the second case the an EMF is induced in the secondary winding due to a current in the primary winding. In both the cases, the EMF is induced due to the rate of change of flux which is produced by the primary current. Therefore, this in this case what happens is this E1 and E2 both are in phase. That is finally here we will be getting a E2 and whereas here we are giving V. Now this E2 and voltage are displaced by 180 degrees so hence the transformer is called to be as a phase shifting device. It can also be said in this way say if I am giving voltage V then a current will be lagging it by 90 degrees and the flux is also lagging it by 90 degrees then this EMF will be lagging flux by an another 90 degrees and e2 is also lagging it by 90 degrees so totally there is a 180 degrees phase shift and hence this transformer is called a phase shifting device so hope it's clear and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and if you feel this video is interesting or useful please like it and share it with your friends thank you for watching